Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'll be showing you how to install two-factor auth app in COS OS using Big Bear COS OS. So a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, you're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So a little bit about two-factor auth. Uh, a web app to manage your two-factor authentication accounts and generate their security codes. There, there's some screenshots of it and your code generated, uh, scan QR codes, accounts. So um, I manage two-factor authentication accounts, organize them using groups, scan and decode any QR code to add account in no time, add custom account thanks to advanced forms, uh, edit accounts, even the imported ones, so single user, modern authentication, data encryption, auto logout, and RFC compliance. So that's a little about it. So a little bit about Big Bear Casa OS is it's a third party app store maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, app store suggestions, you can go into Big Bear community and um, this is what we'll be installing today and 4.2.3 is the version and um, I did a how-to video on installing this app store in GOS OS but I'm gonna go over it in this video as well you'll scroll down and for custom app store support you will need a 0.4.4 or newer so that's a little bit about uh, Big Bear Cost OS so now we're going to start on Big Bear Cost OS there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to it and I'm going to scroll down to app store URL right here and I'm going to copy this and then I'm gonna go over to my Casa OS and get this app store installed. So now I'm gonna start on my Casa OS. I'm gonna go to app store and then I'm gonna go over to add source and then a text input pops out. I'm gonna paste in the URL that we just copied and I'm gonna add. Now we have 107 apps. So we can go over to here. We don't see the Big Bird Casa OS uh, category yet because we need to refresh the page. We'll go back in the app store, go to Big Bear Cost OS right here, and you can see all the apps, and this is the one we'll be installing today. So, we got the app store installed. So now, I'm gonna start in Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to it. And I'm gonna go into apps, and then two-factor auth right here, and then Docker Compose. And now I'll explain it. So the Cost OS app name will, will be uh, Big Bear and then two factor auth right here. And then um, the services and then service underneath the services is called app. And then the container name is called Big Bear two factor auth. And then um, Docker image to be used and it's coming off Docker hub uh, because there's no year before this. So it's a uh, 2F and off and 2F and off and then the tag is 4.2.3 and then now restart unless stopped so that means that if you stop it for any reason it will not try to restart but if it fails or any other reason it will try to restart so now I'm gonna set some ports so 8000 is on the host and if this does collide with another port on your host you can change it and then now in the container is 8,000. So network mode is bridge and then volumes. And then the host side is this, so data, app data, and then the a dynamic variable, which is gotten from here, right here. So, and then data. So this is on the host side and in the container side is 2F off. I'm gonna set some uh, cost OS specific configuration for the service. So the volumes is aligns with this volume right here in the container. So 2F auth is on the container in the description. And then the port is 8,000 in the container. And then now I'm gonna set some cost OS specific uh, in, uh, configuration for the, the actual Docker Compose and the store. So architectures that the Docker image supports is AMD64 and ARM. And then now this main service right here aligns with this service up here, this name, so app and app. 
And then now the description for the application, the tagline, and then the developer of the application, and then the author of the Docker Compose. And then this is an icon for the 2F auth. And then a thumbnail, which is empty right now. And then a title. And then the category, so you can easily find this app store, uh, this, uh, this app in the app store, so a Big Bear Cost OS. And then now the port map is 8,000. This aligns with the host port of right here, 8,000. So the containers aren't directly exposed. It's a proxy in. So that's a little about the Docker Compose. So now we need to get the two-factor auth app installed. So I'm gonna go in the app store and then I'm gonna go to uh, 2F auth and that's the one with the Big Bear uh, Cost OS right here. And I'm gonna press install And then what this is doing is it's pulling down the Docker container, getting it extracted, getting it all set up, and then bringing it up with Docker Compose. So now we have it up and running. So we're gonna to get to showing you the container options now. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So. Let's get back to registered programming. So I'm going to go over the container options now. And I'm going to go up these vertical dots right here. And then you can open the web UI. You can set some tips. So you can go down this edit button right here. And you can uh, put a message in there. And then press the save button. It'll reload the container and say it's okay. 2F auth is okay. You can go actually go back into the tips and you can see it saved. You can go into set, uh, settings right here, and um, you can ch change some settings here, and then press save. You can go up to terminal logs, and you have a terminal right inside the container. And then you can see the logs right here. Great for debugging. So I'm going to exit out of this. So um, you can check for updates for the current tag it's on, and you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So I'm going to show you where the files are located. So I'm gonna go in the files app and cost OS makes it extremely easy. And then app data and then Big Bear 2F auth right here. So you can download, copy, path, rename, cut, copy, share, delete. You can also go up here to uh, the checkbox and you can get download, copy, cut, delete, and cancel. You can also go in here and you can see more data. You can see the single light and the storage uh, for the Laravel framework. So that's where you see the files. So now I'm gonna go into the web UI. So you can either open it right here or you can go open it right here. So um, now you'll be presented with a login page. You can go down here to re register and then I'm gonna put a name in there, an email address, and then a password. And then now you just press register and then um, you can register a device in here. I'm going to say may maybe later. So you can scan a QR code. You can upload a QR code. You can use the advanced form and um, you can import, scan, upload, and upload a file. So, and then you can go to settings and then you can see browser settings and then a uh, grid or list light or dark or auto, show icons, get official icons, password formatting, pair, trio, or half, default group, or remember group filters, auto lock. You can also show password alone in its own view or all of them on the home. Sh show generated one-time pa passwords and dots. Um, so cl close uh, one-time password after copy, copy one-time password on display, use basic QR code reader, direct input, and QR code live scan, QR code upload, and QR code advan uh, well, advanced form. Administration, so check for new ver versions, and then in the instance is up to date, protect sensible data, and then um, disable registration. You can go up these tabs and you can change your password. You can delete your account. 
You can set up OAuth for personal access token. You can set up web authing or register a new, a, new, a new device and set up at least one device to enable the following options. Use web, in, web authing only. And then now you can close. So that's a little bit about 2F auth. So I just went step by step on installing 2F auth on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS, a third party app store. So uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.